Residents of Tavern in Papin, St. Andrews, staged a protest this morning following what they say is mistreatment at the hands of JDF soldiers in the community. Cody and Barrett was in the area and in our reports. Of the roadway leading to the Tavern Community Center were blocked by debris and objects were set ablaze by residents. The rage stems from what they say have been the constant harassment from JDF soldiers stationed in the area. They complain that things took an ugly turn Sunday night at a fundraising event. Although acknowledging that the gathering should not have been held, they insist the soldiers didn't seem to mind at first. 11 o'clock don't come as yet. You hear me? 11 o'clock don't come as yet. Them come at the party, we buy them two bottles of rum, and them there they are drink with we, drink them a drink with we and a flask with we, and then them come over and after them run come out there, kick over the table them, lick up people, fire gunshot over our head, and I tell you how much things them are gonna do it. The soldier them them come inside of the party, you know what I mean? Without no hesitation, fire shot inside of the crowd of the party, a group of people, elderly people. Elderly people, young people was there. It wasn't curfew time at the time. You know what I mean? Fire shot inside of the crowd at the party. Kick over the whole of them in the party without no hesitation. Residents have expressed frustration over what they say is brutality from soldiers in the community. They say they will continue to block the roadways until their plight is addressed. The residents want proper res representation and we're not getting that. We need better roads. We need access to internet, water, and so much other things here. We need jobs. We need job creation. The children in need of a homework center. All we can get from the community center is a soldier camp being placed there. That's ridiculous. Firefighters had to be called to prevent further damage. Meanwhile, the people also expressed concern about the use of the community center by the soldiers. Free Wi-Fi is here for the school, for the kids them here. And at the end of the day, the kids them cannot come over here as a community center in a them community. We come to look work. And everybody are working in the community. Not everybody have it, baby. So at the end of the day, if the kids them can come over here and do them look online work and them something, they, they are going to be interrupted by the same soldier them who come from the same ghetto, know the fight and know the struggle. Cody Ann Barrett, TVJ News. And in response, the Jamaica Defense Force says Sunday's incident was first reported to the chain of command by the soldiers involved and an investigation has been initiated. As it relates to allegations of abuse, the JDF says it hasn't received any such reports from residents of the community. 